Hey everybody, Maximum Jim here. Um, I'm actually doing the audio to this after I've done played the game. I know that sounds crazy, but Sinkin didn't record any of my voice. So, whatever. I wasn't going to let you guys miss out on a big chunk. Couldn't go back and replay it unless I replayed the whole game because it's a save system. So, here you go. This is the best I could do, and I'm sorry, guys. I've had issues with my recording software. I went back to the old one, but it didn't record my voice this time. But at least it recorded the video with pretty decent quality. So, anyway, I'm playing the game. And you guys see me here. This blackout here is because I'm freaking fit battling with cords. And then I get lost. Then I open this door. And oh my goodness, it's freaking. Things. And then there's, like, some dude coming up out of the ground. Shut the door, let me in. And then he was like, This, I'm gonna go through the ground. And he pulls like some like Bugs Bunny stuff and tries to pop up at him. So then when I quit peeing my pants, I end up going back through. He makes a journal or a video recording. I don't know what it was. I didn't even care. Because <laughs> that guy's like breathing in my ear. And I hate that. But it's one of the worst things because they, they, they did that very well in this game. And I climbed up the ladder, lightning scared me a little bit, but that big thing is right there, yeah. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys. I know this isn't ideal, but you know, it's something <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I know. And I'll take a running jump, I get over that look at. Then I see this guy. And then I see the battery there on the ground, and I was like, I don't care, get this battery. And I'm like, glad I did, because later on in the video, you will actually see that I am doing very poor with batteries. They run out crazy fast in this game. Like, I didn't realize they ran out that fast, because before, they actually didn't run out as fast as... As they do now, I think. I don't know. I'm going crazy. I guarantee it. But oh well. Anyway, here's me. I'm actually climbing along the ledge here. I'm so happy to actually not be on the ground for once. And I was so glad to not have to, like, run around. And then I saw this. And I thought that was like a glitch or something. It actually turns out it's just a broken ledge piece. Um, so, anyway, I was so glad not to be on the ground. Then I didn't want to go on the ground. But I ended up having to go on the ground. And then there's this button I'll get over here. And I was like, I gotta climb up there and I know it. But I was like, just in case, I'll check over here. And then I was like, don't wake up. He didn't wake up. So, that was alright. That gate was chained, so we found out these boxes here. I was like, what the heck? And then I realized that there was an opening in the fence. And then, of course, there's people doing stuff over there. And I'm sorry for the jerkiness of the video. Like, this is me playing it at, like, while we're playing the game. I, I, I can't notice it. Like, I don't think it's there while playing. I think it was the recording that actually that did that, so I might have to look into that. And I, I keep zooming in and out on this lot, because I thought there was a flashlight. I thought there was somebody there. That scared me. So, I thought it was actually somebody there with a the flashlight. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Chris Walker got a flashlight. This is unfair. I don't even have a flashlight, but it wasn't. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, I can see his ghost too. Dude scared me. If I'm a patient or not. I'm sitting here talking to myself, watching myself play a video game. I could be loony for all I know. And then there's me trying desperately to look down anywhere dark. <laughs> Leave me. Oh goodness, this guy creeps me out every time. Like, he has no hands or arms because they're like in a straight jacket, but I keep telling him he's like touching himself or something. And then, like, I freak out because I stepped on that guy, and I thought he moved. He didn't, obviously. Um, and then I died. 
more than a lightning kit, as you can tell. And at this point, I actually thought I was where I was at. I actually thought I was going backwards, and I headed back to where I was before. And I thought I was going the right way this time. So I started walking back this way, and I'm like, oh my goodness, look at all this. This is crazy. Then I see the guy on the fence with this nice blood. I didn't realize that was him. But that, I don't think he could see his ghost earlier. I'm sitting here walking. You know, I'm pretty stupid sometimes. And I'm sorry. But then I was like, son of a gun. I went the wrong way. So I turn around. I run back up here. And for some reason, I wasn't smart enough to realize that the place I was at earlier that I turned around at, I didn't realize that that was actually the place I was supposed to jump down at. And let me tell you, I did not want to jump down here. And that's me trying to scope out like where I need to go. So I jump down. And then the tuba hits. And then I hit the deck. Because I hear chains. I didn't know what that was. Yeah, see, there's the chains. I hit the deck. I'm freaking out. Like, I'm sweating. My hands. I'm shaking. Like, you're going to start seeing the camera shake a little bit. Like, I get really unsteady. Like, this really freaked me out. So I had this little box thing. I don't even know what it is. It could be like a tomb, like a, a grave thing. See, freaking Susa Nusa phone in my head. So I'm in here and I'm trying to save batteries because I only have two batteries left. So I turn the camera night vision off and I turn it back on every now and then just to kind of get a visual of whether or not he's coming at me. Well, he's not. And I'm sitting here freaking out. I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so tired. I'm so done. I'm... I hate this game. And it's actually, you know, and then here's me. The battery's about to die. You know, I replaced my batteries. I said, I replaced my batteries. Dang, look back at this. Like, how do you guys not get mad at me? I replaced my batteries. There we go. And I go out, and I'm like, alright, I don't see him, I don't see him, and I scurry away, and I'm freaking out, because these, these headsets are amazing, and, like, I can hear everything from around me, I can hear where everything's at, I can pinpoint people, it's spooky, alright, so he's not here, um, as far as I can see, while playing this game, I hear that. Like, I heard that. And I was like, no. No, no you like it. Here. I crawled into another little cubby hole. For like half a second, apparently. And then... I keep scurrying away. Because I'm like, I just gotta get out of here. I was like, I was like, if he comes at me, I'm just gonna run. Oh my goodness, that's good. And I don't know where this guy's at the whole entire time while doing this. Like, seriously. This was a scary part. Um, again, guys, I'm so sorry that I can't get the audio for this. Like, huh, I'm so upset at myself because I didn't take the time to test it first. But anyway, I get up here and I was the happiest dude on earth. Because it means he can't get me up here, right? Maybe. Who, who's to say? Because I don't remember any of, hardly any of this stuff. I just remember key points of the game when I watched other people play it. I don't remember any of this. Anyway, I keep going around the corner. And I see the box where I have to jump down. And I got so ticked because I had to jump down. Anyway, I freaking like Michael Jordan jumped all the way down there and like nearly killed myself. I didn't mean to. Anyway, I did it. Whatever. I knew this was the place where the little area was down at. And then freaking... It's like I freaked out. Then I saw that I had to climb down in this hole. And I did that. And I freaked out. And then I think I made fun of his cankers. I can't remember. I don't think I did. I should have made fun of his cankers. 
stack and we just can't close the kitties. So then here's me. I'm running through here. And then I see this place. And I'm freaking out. You can see how shaky the camera is now. Like at this moment, I'm dying. And to be honest, the commentary first time around wasn't good. The commentary second time around this time. Not that good either. But, you know, whatever. I'm sorry, guys. I'll say that multiple times throughout this whole video. Anyway, I finally get inside. And I'm happy. Because I'm inside. Well, I'm not that happy because I have like one battery left. I'm sure I realize that. And you saw the wall rider, didn't you? Freaking priest guy out there. You're beginning to understand. You saw like a wall rider, can't you? Even Abraham had to cast his eyes and to I'm the ground. I'm over here, and I'm like contemplating and whether soon, or not to replace my battery. Soon. Maybe I'll just save this it. Way. Didn't I see that I can't actually see in the dark? Is at hand. So I'm like, son of a gun. I guess I'll just have to redo it. You know, reload my battery. I got it on this way. And I knew immediately when I turned left, when I saw this, I was going to be chased. I was like, nope. Some dude's going to chase me because there's stuff to jump over. And anytime there's something to jump over, you're going to be chased. And then I saw that and I was like, nope, I'm just going to run. I don't care. And then I went through this crack, which is actually pretty wide. Like the car could just kind of shoot through it a little faster. Again, I'm freaking out. Because the noises are ridiculous in this game. And it turns out it's just like this thing that I never paid attention to before. That's what's making the noises. Then I go in here. Oh my goodness, I just realized something. Yeah, I'll tell you guys later at the end of the video. But oh my goodness. A battery. Hey, look at that. Anyway. I just realized something. I feel like an idiot, but oh my goodness. I'm so glad that this happened because you guys would have seen me 20, 30 minutes later in the next video looking for something I was going to be trying to find. And I just found it while watching that. And then the freaking Jaws theme happens. Like, oh my goodness. Look at the heck is that. So I don't like freaking out because I think someone's chasing me. So I crouch down. And sit there and like, while well, I hit the deck. I've got, I've at least got a battery. I turn it off. Wait for someone to start hitting the door. My guy's not freaking out. So I just kind of peer around, you know, like, oh, whatever. Um, then I head out. Um, and then I found another battery, and oh my goodness, was I so happy that I got a battery. You guys don't know. Like, unless you played this game and realized that, hey, batteries are, like, the best thing in the world. Like, I think battery... What is this guy doing? You're ugly. Um, shut up. Um, like, I can't, I can go through my whole house and look for batteries. Can't find a single one. In this video game, they're littered everywhere. <laughs> there should be a counter saying how many batteries I used. Because, you know, that would be a thing. And then, coming up upon this part reminded me of the Traeger scene. That's really what I kind of thought it was going to be again. Not Dr. Traeger, but... I mean, you never know. I was so happy to hear this guy. I was like, yeah, nearly here. And I was like, yeah. And then I look over and I'm like, son of a gun. There's no floor. So I got ticked. So now I had to walk all the way back. And I was like, whatever. And then it was like this burnt area over here. And I was like, I don't like this in one bit. <laughs> So I cross that, you know, I'm walking, and I realize I gotta jump through this window. And then there's this laundry chute, or dumbwaiter, whatever you want to call it. A laundry chute, apparently. So I needed three fuses to open the, the door. So I was like, son of a gun, fetch quest. So I gotta go do that. And then I come back here, and I see the lockers. That's when I knew, again, Hey, someone's gonna be chasing you because there's lockers, so whatever. Anyway, I'm walking around here, I'm making my way downtown, walking fast. You know, that dude's in a wheelchair, and he's dead. 
homebound. Alright. Anyway, walking down here, there's another place to hide. Um, jump over this thing, you know. Hey, hey, look at that. I got a couple batteries. Then that's when I heard somebody behind me. And I thought there was somebody on the ground that woke up, and I was like, son of a gun. <laughs> like, and this dude starts chasing me with all this pop. So I'm like, something doors behind me. And like, Miles is freaking out, okay? And I didn't know where to go. <laughs> I got Miles. Miles is freaking out. Miles freaks out over the littlest stuff. I mean, well, littlest stuff. Parenthesis. Being chased by, like, some dude who wants to kill me. Anyway. He starts to freak out really bad. Like, I don't get it. I mean, I do get it. I mean, you're being chased by a dude who wants to kill you, but at the same time, hey, don't freak out too much. It's like... He's like being chased, and he's like... And then like, I run out here. I don't know why I just decided to run past this guy, but I was like, forget it. I need three fuses. You're not going to stand in my way. You know, I just got, again, tired of it like I did last time. Probably a bad idea, but hey, I will. I was like, hey, I got to go here. I mean, I'm not going to wait around. I'm going to do that. And I was like, hey, look at this. I can shut this thing. And then there's like a little nubby nub right there that I'm just looking at. That thing is, that's free. That's infected. And like, this guy just... He just needs to go home. And then I see the fuse, and I thought that guy was going to wake up. I thought there was going to be something. Hence why I, I like hit the deck. So I'm looking around in this place, and there's not a single thing. Like, oh, except for battery bleed. Anyway, there's like not anything in here. And it took me forever to realize that I had multiple places to go. To actually finish this part of the game. And I don't even know, like, I'm, I'm trying to think of ways why I can make this more interesting for you guys so you're not sitting here listening to me just ramble on and trying to make conversation, not while playing the game, because while playing the game it's so much easier than going back and watching the game because I'm not scared and then I know what's going to happen. No well. Anyway, I finally got the guts to get out and move along. I realized that's not the right way. This place really kind of messed with me in my direction. Of blah, blah, blah. Is what it looked like. And I walk in here. There's that dude just standing there. And I'm like, no, oh, screw you. And I shut the door. Then I was like, wait, there's that guy out there. And this guy didn't move. So I was like, you seem alright. And then I was just like, hey, I'm gonna take your fuse. And then he's like, give me back my fuse, you prick. And I was like, this is my fuse, you dill hole. And I took it. And I was like, I'm also taking your battery. And then he got like really close. I don't, I don't think he ever left this room the entire time. But that cracker did. Like, I was just like, no, nah, forget this. Like, you shut your own door. And then, like, I ran through here. For some reason, I thought they were both going to be chasing me. I don't know. Anyway, I ran in here. A little baby. So I'm pushing the grate again. And, and, like, which was good because they were actually going to break down this time. Last time, they were, the guy wasn't going to do anything. This time, he's like, beating it like an egg. And it finally gives up. And then Miles is over here. And he's like, <laughs> Mammy. You know, which is what I sound like in all my other videos when I'm not doing post commentary on it. Which is kind of poop, by the way, guys. I'm sorry again. This is pretty boring. Heck, it's even boring for me to do. Sort of. Oh, well. At least I had four batteries at that point. And I got to reload them. That was nice. It's nice being able to see. Sorry for all you blind YouTubers out there. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. Anyway, I see the radiator is the thing that's gonna come alive or something. It's freaking haunted. This whole place is haunted. And then, like, the most eerie sound comes from pushing that thing. Like, I swear, it's, it's so weird. Anyway. The guts to get back out. Get lost again a little bit, as you saw. 
I'll run back this way. And then... Something happened. That cracker there jumped through the window, and I was like, hey, thanks for jumping through the window, because that's where I needed to go. Because I knew the third fuse was going to be down this way. And I was like, alright. And I had to go find the fuse. Uh, and I did. I shut that, and I did the same thing. Those were so well placed. Love it. Because it was just like, hey, so it's going to break in? Nah, here you go. this. Like, that part of the game design was kind of bad. They should have just put a hiding spot in place. I feel like that would have been scarier. Uh, they did have hiding spots, but rather than having like an unbreakable door by pushing that, I felt like it would have been scarier that way. But whatever. I was still pretty darn scared. Again, you can see through the door now. I appreciated that. Like a little peephole made with the blood object. Or, you know, anyway. I do all that, open this door, and I'm all like, hey, look at this. Got all three fuses. Sweet. Now I gotta get back to the laundry chute without this crack of killing me. Alright. They're like, son of a gun, come on, come out through the window. I know. And like, he reached for me, I jump through, and I get this bright idea to not go through the door because my guy was fat as heck. And then I was like, hey, let me get in this locker. He's gonna pull me out and hit me. But that gave me a few seconds to recover some health. And that might be why I didn't die. I doubt it. Anyway, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, like left foot, right foot. But then I learned, and then I learned that you could turn around and look and see who's pursuing you by pressing the Q and A keys while running. That's actually a kind of useless feature because why would you want to care? Like, why would you even want to do that? I mean, that's cool, but it's just like, whatever. I'll do it. What is? And then you know, I'm sitting there doing that and I'm getting freaked out about like freaking Jolly Roger over here. And happy as all get out. And I just think I'm stupid. I do think you're stupid. Stupid. I'm sorry, I'm chatting it up with my fans. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nobody likes me. Oh, uh, well, anyway, sorry, I'm being distracted, excuse me, that's what happens. Might be ADD, I don't know. Anyway, guy left me alone, I seen him over there, thought he was going to get me, so I was like, here, let me hit the deck, he can't see me if I'm on the ground. And I think he went up that way and I had to go this way, so I lucked out on that, or he might have went this way, I couldn't really tell. No, he went this way, yeah, he told me. <laughs> Such tender eyes, I never saw that. Anyway, I get this idea. I'm like, you know what? Deeps. I was like, ah, cracker. So I go away and I run. I can't remember. No, no, this is part of why I ran away very far the first time. Um, what did I end up doing? I ended up going back here and I think I had enough health. Oh, I freaking like messed myself. Yeah, so then I dodge. Pro dodge right there. Dodge him. And I run back. I keep thinking that guy's gonna let go, even though he's just in that wheelchair, like a nerd. Um, anyway, I go in here, I'm like, fuse. I was like, oh, the guy's not in here yet? Cool. Fuse again. I was like, ow, he hit me. So I was like, let me come out here, have him follow me. And then I was all like, yeah, I'm gonna... I think I was like, yeah, alright, so I dodge around the... Oh, I actually thought I dodged no. Hey, those guys have got a heck of a reach on them, alright? Anyway, I go back in here, I'm like, I'm gonna press the button, do everything I need to do, and I was like, haha, nerd, haha, I didn't know what to do, so I actually dodged him a couple times there, like that, and I was like, what am I supposed to do? Anyway, what I was telling you guys earlier was I spent the rest of this video looking for the stinking, oh my goodness. Ah! Looking for this thinking laundry chute, and then this was like the only door left that didn't break down. And I actually closed it again. Anyway, I spent a good time for the rest of this video looking for the laundry chute, and I realized that when I first came in here, the bottle in the laundry room, where it says laundry room, is where the laundry chute actually ends up at. And I was like, son of a gun. 
how simple. Um, and I realized that by replaying this, this game and going back to it. So, next video, I'll at least know where to go. And that's if people even watch the next video. Anyway, there's this. I thought I had to go up there or something. Well, I wanted to go up there. I'm shaking because that actually scared me a little bit. Um, so I'm walking through here. I was going to run, but then I decided against it. I think the guy was actually gone this time. Like, after I got the fuses, he's like, Well, shoot, he got the fuses. Son of a gun. Then I was like, Hey, let me slam the door so you know where I'm at. And I was like, Hey, there's steps. So I open this door and then don't slam it because that would be stupid. And then I was like, I thought this over here. Y'all see that? Nope. There was a gate. You couldn't actually go in there. So I was like, son of a gun. So let me go down here. Maybe it's actually here. Maybe I have to jump down here. So I jump over. And then I just drop down. And then... Turn around and eat it. There we go. And then... I go down here. And I'm like, oh, maybe it's down here. There's things. And then, like, freaking violins are playing in my ear. I come over here. And I find this folder, and I'm like, Blair Witch Dude over here in the corner. And I'm just like, nah, forget that. Get the heck out of here. And I realize that the laundry chute wasn't even down here. So I just run. I just pull it out of there. And then... I didn't know where to go. And then I was lost. And then he called me stupid. And I was like, nah, you found the key. You're stupid standing there with your face. And then... I was like, yeah. And I go back and I taunt him some more and I think I made him cry. I felt, I felt kind of bad. Um, but anyway, there's a laundry room. It's right in there. And I'm such an idiot. I hated that. Like, oh my goodness, that doo -doo 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 little knocking sound freaked me out. Like, even now, it freaked me out. So I go in here and I'm like, maybe I'm making progress. And then I was like, well, no. And then I was like, maybe I can actually jump up there, you know. Well, no. I couldn't. My guy's got his fingers chopped off. He's went through heck. I gotta give it to Miles. Like, I mean, he's a tough man. He wants to survive. Um, I mean, honestly, if you ask me, I think you, ooh, look, Chuck, I don't know what your battery. Ha, 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 ha. I made that joke. Um, that was a bad joke. Heck, I even made it when I was playing the game. Laundry room, I'm such an idiot. Like, why did I not go in there? And then I was like, oh wait, I already came this way. This is the way where Jaws was. And then, like, um, keep going back down. And I was like, hey, maybe I could check out the documents. Maybe I could check this out. And then I was like, don't drink the water. Oh my goodness. The whispers are making more sense. I'm looking for static. What? I didn't even read that before. The witness. And then there's like, I'm already beat all the... Whoop, and then pick and broken glass out of my scout. Scout? What the heck? I like this part. What was it? Some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler. <laughs> if you want to play in Texas, you gotta have a fiddler in the band. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a bad joke. <laughs> I missed, like... <laughs> if you haven't heard that song, it wouldn't be funny. I'm sorry. I, that was hilarious. Y'all need to laugh. Like, that was good. Anyway, there's me slamming the non-slammable door. That's when I realized that that door needed the key. I'm such an idiot. Why? Why didn't I find that out? And then I was like, oh, hey, I can go through here. And then I realized this is just the place I went, and I slammed the door telling the guy, hey, I'm over here. And then, like, I never saw the guy again. So I'm looking around, and I think I was actually almost done with the video. Yeah, like, this thing's, like, flashing. And I was like, oh, look at this. This is awesome, you know? But, like, I thought I maybe had to jump down in there. No, no, none of that. So I 
keep looking around because I'm like, oh, hey, look, yeah, you know, and the gal's not there, so there was no real threat anymore. Now it's just me being an idiot. It's like, hey, you solved the puzzle. You're good. And then, oh my goodness. Like, I'm such an idiot. And then, like, I'm literally looking around for every little crevice. Can't find it. Stinking. Not there. Then I see all this, and I'm like, oh, hey, look at all that. Maybe I can go down here. Then I realize that that's the stairs where I was going to try to jump up. So I was like, well, that doesn't help me at all. I and mean, that was a hiding position. That was weird. So I was like, let me come over here. Let me check this room for the upteenth time. And invite the wall rider. I'm going to invite him anywhere. It's not his birthday or it's not my birthday. Whatever. I, don't know. I made a joke. It wasn't good. Um, anyway. I'll go back. Don't see anything. Nothing there. Obviously. Because I'm a flipping idiot. So I just sit out to run back to this one room where the laundry shoots at. And I was like, well, I'm done with this video. So anyway, I go to get my outro and I'm like, son of a gun, there's a little creepy dude in the corner. Anyway, this is now my real outro. I appreciate you guys watching me and spending time with me and watch my videos and I'm sorry about the commentary I did in this one and I'm sorry that it was the way it was like, favorite, and subscribe comment and I'll see you guys in the next video